I'm Anne Marie Barton. Join me as I help homeowners reimagine their spaces. Discovering an atmosphere of beauty, peace, and tranquility from simple changes to sweeping transformations. I'll be sharing my process, tips, and of course, my vision. With the help of 3D renderings, we'll reveal exactly what's possible, creating an environment of beauty where form and function matter. This is The Vision Maker. Hi, my name is Garmin. I'm Pon. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our home. home. The house was built in uh, 1910, so it definitely has uh, quite a bit of old bones. Ideally, uh, we would love to be able to convert the living room into almost like an office library space as well. It's definitely a room we don't use a lot. I may think primarily because it doesn't have that coziness that we really wanted to, wanted to possess. It doesn't spark, I want to sit here, I want to relax here. So it's been the most challenging room for us and the room that still needs that extra tender loving care because we don't quite know what to do with it. Well, who's using the room right now? Definitely the dogs. We have two dogs, two golden retrievers. They're our kids. They're taking advantage of us not being in there. They own the couch. We're really hoping that Anne-Marie can come in and just bring her a style aesthetic into our home, that approachable, comfortable, cozy, and beautiful all at the same time. Okay, we're at this next home and I'm loving the feeling here. I've heard that it's a little more hip these days, but it's a very old neighborhood. I love bungalows. So this already feels like a place I would love to almost remodel and, you know, create something special with. Already a beautiful color. Let's go see. Hello. Hi. Hello. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming. I'm so excited to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Garmin. Hi, Garmin. Nice to meet you. Con and Garmin, thank you so much. This is the cutest little bungalow. Oh my gosh, thank you. I mean, I have a crush on houses. I think these kinds of homes can have so much more detail and it matters so much more. Yeah. yeah. So I'm kind of excited to be in this. So I'm entering the adjacent living room. Okay, this is right after we come through the front door, so it matters. Right. And you take a lot of Zoom calls in here, or you try to work in this space. How do you use it? I usually sit there with my dog, and because she owns this room right now. This is about the dog now? <laughs> okay, we gotta get that changed. <laughs> what do you What do? You do? It's essentially <laughs> a living room that doesn't get any use, okay. really. Um, but, but would it get used if it felt better in here? That is the goal. That's the. I that mean, really it's a big part of the house. It's a lot of square mm -hmm. footage in here. Right. All right. Well, the first thing is the color. Okay. We're in to a color here that also feels cold, mm -hmm. and it really doesn't feel cohesive with the outside of the house. Okay. Another thing that's happening is it doesn't feel grounded in the space. I love the idea of the wood you put on the outside of the house, mm -hmm. how you knew it was right to clad that bungalow with the shingle. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should take some of that into this room and do a shiplap painted wood on all of these walls and omit this crown. Oh. I can just see mm -hmm. adding a little more of a hug to the space okay. by putting something on these walls that sort of grounds it. And sometimes these plantation shutters get in our way. Okay. We just can't even feel like we're outside. You're missing so much. Okay. So I would love to see this place without all of the plantation shutters. Mm -hmm. Now you'll need some privacy, but I would take drapes all the way up to the ceiling and let this room feel a little taller mm -hmm. and also a little softer. Mm -hmm. So already I'm just picturing walls and windows, but when we think about what happens in here, I'm a little distracted. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, moving parts over here. I love collage walls, but I think we could mix it up a little bit better. I would maybe consider a built-in here so that you had more structure okay. with how you put your collections mm. out. Okay. You seem to collect things. So it's, <laughs> so it's far better to have it look um, like it's planned and intentional and go all the way up 
so that we have a taller feeling mm -hmm. in the space. So we're looking for taller ceilings, more light, mm -hmm. and more organization. Okay. But you have to have comfort yeah. in the room. So are you working in here with a desk? Might you take a Zoom call here? If it was a space that we would want to be in, yes, most definitely. <laughs> because right now you're doing it in your bedroom. Both so. of us okay. are, yes. All right, All right. Yes. so we gotta get you out here. For sure. Okay, so I picture a writing table, not a desk. I don't want to be that serious. I think it should be more informal. Mm. So I'm thinking I'm going to render this room okay. and I'm going to draw this up for you <laughs> and show you what it feels like to be in a peaceful atmosphere. Okay, so I'm leaving you and I want to come back and see a few changes. You know, this false plant out, plantation shutters gone, but all of the craftsman ideals coming back into this house, which is why you bought it in the first place. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's good to meet you. Thank you, Pond. Thank you. Woo. We'll get it done. Well, I think that was a great experience. I think it gave at least us permission to tear off these blinds. Do over. Exactly. And I think it's also an opportunity to like have permission to do that. Starting with those plantation shutters. Honey, go get that screwdriver. Okay, well, that was a fun one. Um, I like that they were interested in keeping the theme of the house, um, this craftsman nature, but at the same time, they wanted to make it theirs. So it was a lot to think about as we went through. So then I'm thinking, okay, we need to add cool factor. We need to warm the house up. We need to add light and we need to make the living room cozy. So I like my challenge. I started with the idea of adding more woodwork because that's what makes sense when you think of craftsman style homes. So when I look at the outside and I think about going in, I want them to connect. So we've got more authenticity outside and less inside. I'm hoping to pull those two together. So it's through and through a lovely craftsman bungalow. So I'm walking up to a craftsman style home and it's important to know what does that even mean? It conjures up something different for everyone. Craftsman homes are meant to entail a lot of craftsmanship. This is something where there's been a lot of attention to detail. That's what we love about craftsman style. And this bungalow was just the same. It had a lot of good details, good bones, but there was a whole area of the house left unused. They had lived there a long time and really unresolved this space. I thought to myself right when I saw it that it needed to be a respite for these guys. They're such a good couple. They're, they're fun, they're vibrant. They really want to do something. They've lived there long enough to know what they need. And it's both an office, a TV room, and of course, a feeling of maybe um, a spa peace, relaxation. All of that is missing in the room as far as I can see. So I wanted to approach it with that in mind and also create a vision for them. Right when I looked into the space, I thought about wood all over the walls, uniting this room, making it one. But the most valuable decision I made on the spot was please get rid of the plantation shutters. Why? Because you can't see outside and they had a beautiful outdoors. So if you've got plantation shutters, just consider getting rid of them. That's my first message. Secondly, what about warming a space with wood? So as I came back to my studio and I thought of the space, originally I thought, well, we'll paint that wood. But really, as I walked through the rest of the home, they actually needed to add a little more integrity and hit on that craftsman style. So I decided to go with more of a light wood tone, leaving that white oak very natural looking and add a light fixture in the center, really elaborating on the woodwork design that I did in the center section, which is all juxtaposed and quite interesting. When I took away the plantation shutters in my rendering, I filled it with these wonderful shades. 
and these allow for light to go through and most of the time they'll be rolled up very very high but you can lower them and you still get a little vision of the outside. But the most important thing about these shades is their naturalness and it really partners well with the natural woods. So that's my backdrop. Then I thought about their heritage and I wanted to make sure I answered to some of the colors they already had in the space. They love this green tone, which again is a reference to the outdoor indoor vibe and a little bit of femininity and of course branches and flowers. So this was my one accent moment and the rest is meant to create ultra tranquility. I wanted the rug to be an unusual shape. You might be able to see on the rendering that I've got these interesting corners and edges and rounding on the rug. That's the organic side of this rug, plus the materials and the sheen, which you can see. I chose to use the wicker as the surround. Do you see this? This is kind of a natural wooden feel. And then we juxtapose that with the soft hood of the boucle. Now, want to know something? I have the same ones in my own living room and that's why I knew they would love it. And I kept them all sort of matching because I wanted this room to feel ultimately cohesive, which was kind of exactly the opposite of what it was when I visited the home. Now, the other materials I'd like to use in the space. This is again neutral and natural, but it does have that essence of the brass. And remember, he likes the brass too. Uh, we do have a desk in the room, and that was the other request. Where could they go to do work, take a Zoom call, and also relax and watch TV? That was the request. So I think we nailed it. This is some of the woodwork we're going to use in the space. Again, really natural for the desk chair. Again, some more wicker. And then I brought in this color, which was actually a part of the drape for the bookcase that really contains that television. And a lot of the books that you see now on their shelves that we don't want to see every piece of will be behind cabinet doors. And then the last thing I want to talk about is the stone. We have a stone top on the coffee table and this is meant to be rugged and natural and not too fancy. It's important when I'm designing a space that I think of the actual people that will live in it. And I know it's Garmin, pond and then a couple of dogs. So we needed it to feel cozy and like it was a little bit informal. When you look around your space and it feels cold and hard, you just don't want to use it. So the opposite of that is the soft, lush warmth that I'm hoping all of your homes have. Adding these soft rounds makes it a lot more comfortable and people actually want to linger longer in your home.